Well, you're the ones who are. If those construction workers stepped into the office building, they might see you hanging around the water cooler, talking about your favorite YouTube channels, and start a rumor that office workers are so lazy. I made an entire video comparing Roman concrete to its modern equivalent, but I still get emails and comments all the time about the arcane secrets possessed by the ancient Romans that have since been lost to the sands of time. It's not true, really. I mean, the ancient Roman concrete used in some structures did have some interesting and innovative properties, and the Romans did invest significantly in the durability of their streets and roads, but I think a Roman engineer would be a... Josie Hubbard Palmer said to MF Riders and Drivers, Urgent due to unforeseen circumstances, we need a 7-5 rider tomorrow. <laughs> to learn that most modern highways handle hundreds of thousands of trucks that can weigh upwards of 80,000 pounds before being replaced. And I think a Roman engineer might wet their toga if they were to see a modern concrete frame skyscraper. There are a few reasons why it seemed that the Romans had us outclassed when it comes to structural longevity. First, their survivor bias. We only see the structures that lasted these past 2,000 years, and not the vast majority of buildings and facilities which were destroyed in one way or another. Second, there's the climate. I haven't personally been to the parts of the world surrounding the Mediterranean Sea, but I hear most of them are quite nice. Cycles of freezing and thawing are absolutely devastating to almost every part of the constructed environment. The ancient Romans were in an area particularly well suited to making long-lasting concrete structures, especially compared to the frozen wastelands that some other of Earth's denizens call home. Finally, there's just a difference in society and government. Ancient Rome was wildly different from modern countries in a lot of ways, but particularly in how much they were willing to spend on infrastructure and how they were